Alright, welcome back gamers. I've been watching a bunch of speedruns lately, so I am ready. I am in the zone. So, first thing we need to do before we get into our next duel here, is we've got some edits to do. You guys have put in quite a few suggestions to uh, add cards to the deck and take out some decent ones. So let's go through them. So first up, Ken Suzugamori, 1427, said, uh, because that black pendant came in clutch, he wants me to take that out. Thank you so much. And we're going to be adding Giant Soldier of Stone to the deck. So, I mean, it, it certainly could be a worse trade-off, but that's what we're going to do. Like I said before, that Giant Soldier of Stone is actually a pretty good pickup as far as a wall monster goes, so I'm not going to complain too much about it. Next up, we've got Super Ultra Mega Sandashot 8963. What a name. What a mouthful. Uh, we're going to be taking out Witch of the Black Forest and adding Skullstalker. Thank you, Super Ultra Mega. Very cool. So let's go ahead and take that out. That uh, that one hurts quite a bit. That Witch of the Black Forest probably would have come in clutch, at least for grabbing like the Summon Skull and just any relatively okay attacker. And then we're going to be adding this monstrosity right here, so that's epic. Next up, we've got a couple suggestions from Daedalus 8 k uh, so he wanted us to take out Firegrass and put in the Giant Soldier. Uh, so we've already got the Giant Soldier in. Then he also suggested taking out Larvis and adding the Skull Stalker. Um, so what I want to do here... So we've already got both of those in, but we're taking out Firegrass and Larvis. So let me just run through real quick and see what we actually have that we could switch out. Just so we can kind of at least put in his suggestions as well. And let's see, what can we add? Tripwire Beast, probably not. Uh, actually, yeah, let's go ahead. We will add the Tripwire Beast. And then, let's see, we'll take out the Fire Grass for that. Uh, just a banner of finding it. I probably could sort these out, it'd be a lot quicker, but then I have to keep resorting every time that I go back and change out the cards. So there's Fire Grass, we'll put that away. Oh, and let's see. And he wants Larvis out. Now what are we going to add in place? Let's go ahead and put the Fire Yaru in. And then we will take out the Larvis. So that's easy enough. And so, yeah, that's something that I want to try to figure out as far as if people, if people suggest the exact same thing, then obviously we can just go ahead and do that and I'll shout both, both commenters out for the suggestion. But if we have ones that kind of overlap as far as differentiating cards being taken out and put it in put in then we'll try to uh, go about that the best way possible and that's the best way I could come up with on the fly uh, next up we've got Chris or K1 uh, we're putting away the crawling dragon and putting in the witty phantom so that'll be good uh, it's not bad because I think that crawling dragon is a level five which isn't great even though 1600 is obviously stronger but on a Tribute Monster, it's not fantastic, especially where we already have that Summoned Skull. And then next up, we've got Emblem Warrior 11. Wants us to put away the Derober. Fantastic, we're already on it. And we're putting in Spike Seedra. So, I mean, we essentially, you know, just traded Crawling Dragon for the Spike Seedra. They're basically the same level 5 monsters with 1600 attacks. So, well, I mean, honestly, hopefully I don't see them. But, so thank you guys so much for those suggestions. Makes for an interesting new deck that we're going to be going into these next couple of battles with. But let's get right back into the campaign. So last time, we beat Tristan Taylor twice. So every duelist in this campaign, this first one, we have to defeat two times before we move on to the Battle City arc. So let's see. Let's go ahead and hit up Bakora. Let's see what he's talking about. I, w I don't exactly remember what Bakora plays. It's... None of these characters really have a specific strategy or focus for their deck, but there's uh, certain there's certain little quirks that you have to be aware of if uh, if you want to go into this as strategically as possible. So opening Regeki is really good. King of Yami Makai, One-Eyed Shield Dragon, Aqua Midor, Feral Imp, and Komori Dragon. I think we will go ahead, wall up with Aqua Midor, because I want to say... I think Bakora has uh, Dark Elf. He has a lot of like strong beater monsters, but ones that he has to uh, have some kind of cost associated with it. So perhaps we should be able to kind of wall up to at least protect from that because those are 
a huge pain to try to deal with. Uh, and that zombie dragon is a, a bit of a dilemma here, so we'll set the feral imp for now. Probably should have set the one-eyed shield dragon, but at least I know that we're we're at least set with the aqua Midor for now. I don't want to bring out that king of Yami Makai just yet. And I want to say that's probably going to be a magic jammer, I think. So we'll set the trap hole, because he, he might have a tribute monster. So we'll go ahead and set the one-eyed shield dragon. Uh, yeah, I think we're in it for a slow one this first time around. Fire Reaver, that's awful. I wish he would have attacked with it, though, but... Couldn't, couldn't take that out with a trap hole, either. I really want to get another spell card, because I would like to bait out a Magic Jammer if he has one, but I think... We might just... No. What we're gonna do... We'll take a little bit of damage, but see if we can... See if we can bait out something that he has face down. Because I don't have anything to, to show me what those cards are yet. Well, it's potentially not a battle trap, which is good. It's probably the last thing that I want to deal with. But let's see. Eh, yeah, armored zombie. Yeah, we'll go ahead. We have two trap holes. We'll go ahead and take care of that, just to get that out of the way. He doesn't have a seven tools either, so I I definitely want to say that he's he must have a magic jammer set down. And I really don't want to waste that Regeki. So, yeah, we're... Boy, we're going to be in it for a slow one. He might have a trap hole. Well, no, I think he would have activated trap hole if he had it uh, when I put out whatever I put out before. Uh, yeah, we're going to wall up with a bean soldier, baby. Oh, uh, please, please attack with that magical ghost first. Ha! Ah, nerd. Good going, Bakora. Yeah, the, uh, the bots on these... On this first campaign, are pretty strange. There's definitely there's definitely no learning curve for them, I suppose, because they they will pretty much just attack anything. So, I mean, I guess you know, to a point, you could probably get through this entire first campaign with just wall monsters and having them blindly attack, as long as you have some uh, some battle traps to to deal with any of their tribute monsters. Because I know everyone has at least there we go. Yep, dark elf. Yeah, we're definitely gonna... Eh, no, yeah. That was a mistake. I could have let him tank a little bit of damage there. Which would have been funny. And he hasn't he hasn't popped up that set monster either. I want to say that is most definitely Dimensional Warrior. So if I attack it, it whatever I attack with is gonna be banished. So maybe we can... Uh, what would I rather bait out? Premature Burial. Do you have the Magic Jammer? And just in case he doesn't... He doesn't. So what does he have down there? Because I don't remember any back row from Bakora, but... Let's just see if we can... If we can pop up that, uh, that dimensional... Nope. Ooh. Yikes. That's gonna be a problem. Alright, so next turn... Because what is this? It's stirring. Uh, for each turn, this card is face up. Okay, so next turn and the turn after. So my next turn, now nah, I won't even be able to get over it then. Ooh, yeah, that's going to be a big issue. But he doesn't have a magic jammer, so I want to say that we should be safe with Regeki. I really hope so. Hey, there's that Spike Seedra. Good suggestion. Alright, but let's play not stupidly. We'll go ahead and put out a Wicked Mirror. Obviously, it's not a ton of damage that we're putting out right now, but if he has something, he doesn't. Okay. I really don't know what he might have face down now. I can't think of anything that wouldn't have been activated at this point. But we should be safe now, at least, to, to go for King of Yami Makai. We can only sit on aqua... Ooh, uh, no. Nope. I don't want to lose a summon skull. So yeah, we'll go King of Yami Makai. We'll, we'll be a little reserved. And hopefully he wasn't, you know, just, just waiting around on it. But I do wonder if, if I attack with something larger, if anything will happen. Of course. Yep. You know, that's what I get. That's what I get for... 
for doing what I did. Get punished with a dark hole. So this is... Okay, yep. Well, we've got something else to sit on. That's good. I don't think anyone in this first campaign has Regeki, though. I would have rather you attacked with uh, Dark Elf, personally. That would have been a little more damage, but... Alright. Change of heart, maybe? A Magic Jammer. That would have came in handy, you know, a few turns ago, but that's fine. But... We're gonna sit on the giant soldier for now. Uh, that shouldn't... Actually, that actually helps mine, I'm pretty sure. Black Pendant. Yeah, we're definitely gonna... We're getting rid of that! None of that noise. I do take 500 damage from it, though, from it going... Going to the grave, I think. No, I guess not. Ha! Get rocked. Alright. Let's see. Skull Stalker. Just what I wanted to see. Alright, so this is only for Rock Zombie Dinosaur. Okay. So your Ronzo Zombie, fantastic. I'm not sure what else he would have set. Ooh, yeah, no, we don't want to set that. That'd be a terrible idea. Alright. <clears throat> Goodness gracious, we're gonna go full offensive with this Summon Skull. Let's see what kind of magic we can make happen. Hopefully we can just sit on this for a while. Because I'm running out of options. Let's see. I'm not going to switch you to defense mode either, which is fine. I'm really... I wonder if I can bait something out. I wonder if I can bait him to flip those over with setting a weaker monster. Because it seems like the bots know what your defense levels are. Which is, you know, great. But let's see what we can do here with this. Maybe. Yep, yep, yep. That's what we like to see. And he's gonna run it over, but that's fine. So he's got some really weak monsters out now, so I can start punching in for decent amounts of damage here. Oh, let's see. Mystical Elf. They He might attack into this, which should be fine. So, 1400. Not bad. We're, uh, we're closing it out, slowly but surely. I don't remember Bakora being this freaking difficult, actually. I don't remember it being this much of a grind game. And then next turn, we should be able to wrap it up. That should be just enough if we attack with a Summon Skull. But this will be where... Ooh. I'm so tempted to activate this, I'm not even gonna lie. But my luck, he'll have a Man-Eater Bug down there, and we will end up uh, losing the Summon Skull, and in turn losing the game. But there we go, boys. W number one for today's episode. And obviously we're running a little bit over time, but yeah, we'll go ahead and do one more duel. So I did some research. Red Eyes Black Dragon does have overall the best cards, but with all the with all three of these first uh, booster packs you can pick, they have a majority of the same cards, but the Red Eyes Black Dragon pack has a few extra cards that we would want to try to grab. But again, that's still a matter of you guys actually choosing to add them to the deck. So we've got the Wandering Doom, Tripwire Beast, Metal Dragon. If you guys want to add the fusion monsters in there, that's fine. Uh, not necessarily that we'll be able to summon them, but if you want to add it, we'll just make a massive fusion deck for this game. Then we have Beaver Warrior and Steel Ogre Grotto, number one. Not a fantastic card. But all right, next duel. We're not going to do Bakura again. Let's go with Taya. This should be a really short one, so we can try to keep this video under 20 minutes. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can open with. Hopefully better than last time. Last time was a... And that last duel was a grind game for sure. So, Magic Jammer. Yep, we're just going to set everything. Trap Hole. I saw a Mystical Elf there, which is great. Pretty good start. That means we've got Mystical Space Typhoon. Swords of Revealing Light. Not bad, actually. But with Taya, I know that she will pretty much attack with anything. Didn't realize she had Gemini Elf. But we're going to go ahead and activate Trap Hole. How about that? Nothing you can do about that. Then we have a Neo the Magic Swordsman, which is really tight. So we'll go ahead, hit her for 17. And then I'm not sure, she might have three copies of Gemini Elf. So I'm going to say that we're going to want to play that Swords of, Reve of Revealing Light now. Just to at least protect ourselves if she does bring out another. 
And if she does now, while I have Swords of Revealing Light on field, she will set it. So I know that we can get over it at that point. That uh, is not... Uh, what is she going to do with that? Yep. Jammer time, baby. Uh, she doesn't have any back row, so I'm fine with dropping that MST. That's fine. And she's just going to set everything until Swords of Revealing Light is gone, so... We should be able to just, you know, punch in. And... Yeah, we'll, we'll... We'll play it a little bit risky. We'll go with Komori Dragon. Not that it mattered, I guess. But, alright, and missed... I don't know what I was about to say. Neo the Magic Swordsman for another 1700. Fantastic. So we should be able to close out this one before we hit the 20 minute mark. I don't want it to go over 20 minutes really for each of these little episodes here. Then we'll just set that. Yeah, I guess we could have flipped it over. Not that it would have mattered for much, but... And let's see. What do we got? Dancing Elf. What were you going to do with that? Isn't that a McDonald's promo, Dancing Elf? Pretty sure. Alright. Yep, right close to wrapping up the game here, which will be fantastic. Let's see. Another set card. Bye-bye, swords. And let's see. Anthrosaurus. Terrible. We'll hit him with the Goki Bore. And we'll flip that. We'll just flip everything. I ain't afraid. I ain't afraid of nothing. This will be the time that it's a uh, it's a mystical elf, though. So, let's see. Ha-ha! Yeah, that's game, baby. And we'll just punch through. We've got more than enough, I'm pretty sure. Yep. 15 and 13. And a perfect game against Taya, boys. Not bad. Alright, so this will be the last pack for the episode. Another Red Eyes Black Dragon pack coming right up. Oops, I lost. Yeah, you did. All right, we've got another Spike Seedra. Fantastic! Silver Bow and Arrow. Sleeping Lion. What is that? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Beaver Warrior and Wretched Ghost of the Attic. We don't have a whole lot that we're working with. But, and as much as I don't want these videos to be super long, at the end of every video, we'll make sure to go through all the cards that we have in the trunk and every cards, all the cards that we have in the deck so you guys know what you can choose to uh, to take out and put in. So two beaver warriors starting with the trunk. Binding chain, black pendant, please put that back in. Crawling dragon, Dorover, drooling lizard, fire grass, larvis, metal dragon, sandstone, silver bow and arrow, sleeping lion, spike cedra, steel ogre grotto, number one, the wandering doom, tripwire beast, witch of the black forest, <laughs> please put it back in. Witty phantom and the wretched ghost of the attic. Going into the main deck, seven colored fish. Never saw that in both of those games. Anthrosaurus, Aquamador, Armail, Bean Soldier, Bell of Destruction, Change of Heart, Feral Imp, Fiend, Kraken, Fire Yarus, Giant Soldier of Stone, baby, Goki Bore, Hollow Gra, Hello, Killer Needle, King of Yami Makai, Kamori Dragon, Magic Jammer, Minamushi Warrior, Monster Reborn, Mystical Elf, two copies of MST. Neo the Magic Swordsman, One-Eyed Shield Dragon, Pot of Greed, Premature Burial, Regeki, Seven Tools of the Bandit, Skull Stalker, Snake Yashi, Spike Seedra, Summon Skull, we're super monster heavy, Swords of Revealing Light, The Wandering Doom, Trap Hole, Tripwire Beast, Wicked Mirror, Wing Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress, Number One, and Witty Phantom. So those are your options, guys. Don't forget, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you want to take out of the deck and what you want to put in. If you liked the video, don't forget to drop a big thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated, as always, guys. And until next time, this has been Purple Pineapple TV, signing off.